Welcome back to the Accessible Art History YouTube channel. In this week's episode of Art History Minute, I'm discussing a medium rarely talked about in the history of art. The Artabil carpet is one of the oldest surviving Islamic rugs and is a fascinating example of how the medium was used in its culture. So to learn more, keep on watching. Carpets are one of the most important mediums in Islamic art. Depiction of humans were rare and even forbidden in some branches of the religion, so artists had to find new and different ways of expressing themselves. Carpets were a multi-purpose solution. Not only could they provide beautiful decoration, but they could also keep homes and mosques warm during the colder months. The Artabil carpet is one of the finest surviving examples of an Islamic carpet. It dates from between 1530 and 40 and is from the town of Arbadil in northwest Iran. The town is named the town itself was named after a Sufi saint, Safi al-Din Arbadil, whose descendants founded the Safayid dynasty. The Ardabil carpet is made of dyed wool and has 340 knots per square inch. This means that it could be made with highly intricate details and patterns. It is likely that it was made in a royal or noble workshop because of the high quality of the materials. The knots are used to make floral and vegetable designs, a golden medallion, and calligraphy. It's truly a remarkable piece of art. Today, it is in the collection of the Victoria and Albert Museum. The exquisite craftsmanship and sudden design speak to how important the medium of carpet making was, and still is, to the Islamic people. Thankfully, this example has survived to teach us about this rich tradition.